Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Dunit from Event Driven Utopia. Today we are going to talk about how to schedule messages with Azure Service Bus. Microsoft Azure Service Bus is a fully managed enterprise message broker with message queues and publish subscribe topics. Service Bus decouples applications and services from each other to provide benefits such as load balancing, safe routing of data, and coordinating transactional work that requires a high degree of reliability. In this video, I'll discuss the message scheduling capabilities of the Service Bus. Before we get into technical specifics, let's try to understand what is message scheduling. In messaging, you can send a message to a queue or a topic for delayed processing. Those messages are called scheduled messages. When you consider regular messages, they appear in the queue in a moment after they are sent. But in contrast, scheduled messages don't show up in the queue until they are defined in queue time. You can add an initial delay to them so that they won't show up in the queue till that delay period passes. Let's take a simple example to understand that. You can schedule a message at the midnight and send it to a queue at 10 p.m. The message will be invisible for consumers until the midnight. Then exactly at midnight, it will be appended to the queue as a new message. After you schedule a message, you can also cancel it. A cancellation deletes a message from the queue. Message scheduling is helpful when you want to postpone non-critical yet essential workloads to a later point in time. Then consumers can pick them up after peak hours. For example, you can delay email sending tasks until the midnight to save the computational capacity of consumers. Another example could be the consumer picking up a message and sending it to an API endpoint. By adding an explicit delay, you can prevent the consumer from being throttled out by the downstream API. Azure Service Bus allows you to schedule messages in two ways. First option is to use the regular send API, but set the schedule message and queue time UTC property on the message before sending. The second option is to use the schedule message API, pass both the regular message and the schedule time. That will return the schedule message as sequence number, which you can later use to cancel the schedule message if needed. Now let me show you a sample c -sharp dotted code that I wrote to schedule messages using the send message. Let me first show you the configurations I have done in the Azure portal. So basically for this example, I have already created the service bus namespace and a queue under that. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are zero active or zero scheduled messages in the queue right now. So what I'm going to do next is to write a simple c -sharp program to send a message to this queue with an uh, added delay of two minutes. Let's see how to do that. So here we have a, a Visual Studio code with c -sharp extension being added. So basically I have already imported this uh, Asia Messaging Service Bus SDK, .NET SDK. I have a simple class called Schedule Message with a main method. And inside main method, I am calling this simple method called Schedule Message Async. As you can see, uh, already I have created this Service Bus client using the connection string, and the queue name I have defined as a constant. Also, I have already constructed the message instance here with the name, the body set to hello world. So what I'm going to do next is to add a two minutes of delay to this message so that when you send it using the schedule send message method, it will show up in the queue after two minutes. Let me add the relevant lines. So there's a special property called schedule, scheduled end queue time. 
basically I can set it using date time basically I can set two minutes right that's it then using the sender I can send this message as a regular message all right we are all set let me try to invoke this using the inbuilt console terminal so basically let me run this let me run all right so it printed this message schedule a single message to the queue orders queue which is my queue so basically this is it so let's go back to our Asia portal and see whether uh, if there are any scheduled messages all right if you notice here you can see there's a one scheduled message in fact this Asia portal has this uh, interesting feature called service bus explorer where you can see you can actually peek into the queue let's click on that uh, what I need to do is I need to peek so you can see there are the ones scheduled message I just want I'm just curious on uh, how this schedule message looks like so I'm gonna click on I'm gonna select queue and peek all right so it gave me this number let's make sure that this is the exact message that I have just sent yes it is so as you can see the content type is uh, application XML and the payload is exactly what I just sent in my c -sharp program the next way of scheduling a message is to use the schedule message async method which is pretty much similar to uh, send message async method that we used earlier uh, but contrastly uh, this schedule message async method will return you the sequence number of the schedule message so that uh, later you can use it to cancel the schedule message if there's a need right let's see how to do that so I just made a small change of the payload of the message just to differentiate it from the other one so I'm declaring a variable to hold the sequence number here. Send a schedule message async. Expects two parameters. First one, the message itself. Second, uh, you need to mail. You need to specify how long it should wait until appear in the queue. So I'm going to give it. two minutes as usual alright looks all good for now let's quickly run it alright so now this program has sent another message to the same queue let's go back to our Asia portal and see whether is there any scheduled messages yes I can see one schedule message so let me use this service bus explorer and peek into the queue you can see one schedule message is there okay so it has returned me this number uh, let's see what the content is right so this is exactly the message I just sent you sent here scheduled messages can be cancelled later using their sequence number to cancel you should call cancel schedule message async method as you can see here with the sequence number of the message as the argument all right let's summarize our discussion so far 
Message scheduling is a way of adding a delay to messages so that they don't show up in a queue immediately. Azure Service Bus allows you to schedule messages in two ways. First, you can use the regular send message async API method with a special property being set to the message. Second, you can use the schedule message async method which gives you the sequence number of the scheduled message in return. Scheduled messages can be cancelled with their sequence number if needed in the future. Okay folks, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you with another video soon. Stay tuned.